Hi and welcome back to my small but surprisingly music free channel for this one, The Kilted Cyclist. Now I leave no stone unturned to bring you interesting views of Scotland that are sometimes worth visiting. This one is a bit of an oddball. There's no music, no scenery, no castles and even no bike. It's Errol Sunday Market in Perthshire. Now, I've always been fond of a car boot or two, and this one is a cross between the Barras in Glasgow, and for those of you who remember it, the Ingleson Sunday Market in its pomp. Now, at Aero Market, traders hire containers per week, so there's probably at least a hundred stalls every Sunday, because they can just store their stuff on site, as it were. It's easy enough to find, and the indoor part is really cool. Especially the stall making designer lamps out of phones, beer pumps, or even sewing machines. Now, he is well worth a view. This video isn't one for everybody, but if it gives you an idea for a Sunday trip, then my work here is done. So, let's just get on with it, shall we? Oh, this is the Rusty Crusty saw bit. Is it? Aye. Oh, sorry. I'm not going in the other one. Oh, I can not get right there. Um, oh, yeah, up there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Said it was inside, but. Oh, we've been in that bit. We're in that bit. It's that one. Oh, they're 
Sorry, all right. Aye. Well, as long as people don't copy stuff. Aye. Aye. You give us a wee wave. Give us a wave. Aye, that's, <laughs> that's what we want. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that was Errol Sunday Market, held on, well, a Sunday of course. You might need your phone's GPS to find it, but it's a rare wee hidden gem with plenty of bargains. What did I get? Well, apart from the customary cappuccino, I added two comic annuals from the 1970s to my small but rapidly expanding collection. You could easily spend two to three hours here, so bring comfy shoes and a big pocket of change and you're sorted. Did this video work? It's not my usual, but I like to try different places to film. Let me know what you thought of it and... I see by the big clock on the wall that once again it's time to go, so until the next time, bye for now.